Here's how to save a screenshot as a PDF on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you took a screenshot and you wanted to then convert it over to a PDF, or you wanted to right now in the moment, take a screenshot and save it as a PDF, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's just open up say Instagram here and say this is what I want to take a screenshot and then convert it to a PDF. So I'm gonna tap the volume up and the side button to take that screenshot and then tap on it at the bottom left. Now here you can see at this point, I can crop it down. Maybe I only wanted to include this specific part as the image and now I've cropped it. I can tap done at the top left here and you can see a couple different options. One is save to photos or save to files on here. Now, depending on which type of screenshot you took, if it's of a website and you chose the full page option, it in the screenshot app basically allows you to save it as a PDF. So if you just took a random screenshot, but it is not full page, you have to go through another different step. But if it is full page, then you can in this option right here, save it as a PDF. But if you don't see that, let's just hit save to photos at the top left. Now I'll hop out of here and just open up my photos app here and go to the photo. You can see here is this specific screenshot as a photo. To switch it over to a PDF, let's tap the share button at the bottom left. And then let's tap print. Now you're not gonna print this, but basically you're gonna print to PDF. Now again, at the top right, you can tap that share button and you can see right under photo, it is now a PDF document. So it has converted it into a PDF and now you can do whatever you want with it. You can hit the save to files, you can text it, email it, you can copy it, you can send it on WhatsApp. Let's just hit save to files here and we're gonna save it. Let's go back, back again and save it directly on my iPhone and hit save. So now this specific screenshot has been converted into a PDF. It is on my iPhone. I can do whatever else I want with it. I can share, I can download, I can save it, all of that stuff. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.